In a time when three-row crossovers have become the new minivans, Buick has launched not only a new model in this segment but also a new sub-brand. The Enclave is the first model in getting the Avenir treatment, offering a unique styling, more standard features, and premium materials throughout the cabin. The luxury crossover is longer and wider than its previous generation, and with more cabin space and good driving dynamics it hopes to acquire a bigger piece of the pie than what it currently has. Sharing its platform and engine with the Chevrolet Traverse, the Enclave Avenir is powered by a 3.5-liter V6 engine that delivers 302 HP and 260 lb-ft of torque. A 9-speed automatic transmission is in charge of sending that power to all four wheels, thanks to an all-wheel drive system. Although front-wheel drive is standard, a single-clutch all-wheel drive system is available for $2,000 while the twin-clutch all-wheel drive system can be yours for $2,300. Our model was equipped with the latter, and during an off-road evaluation members of our staff seemed to like this combination. The twin-clutch rear-drive axle works exceptionally well in the sand, said Technical Director Frank Marcus. Generated rooster tails on the sand carousel, stopped and started easily on the sand hill, and never put a wheel wrong. At low speeds you can turn the camera on, and if you're in drive it shows a front view of what you're about to drive over. Right double quotation mark. But although most of those who get this Enclave Avenir will not take the crossover to an off-road environment, they will be pleased to learn that it drives smoothly on the pavement. During our first test we had access to a winding road where the Buick showed good handling abilities, we noticed little body roll for an SUV this size. Body motions are better controlled, it can be rotated on corner entry with throttle liftoff and the tail comes back into line remarkably smoothly, said International Bureau Chief Angus McKenzie. Although the steering has little feeling of what's happening on the road, we noted good precision. Associate Editor Scott Evans applauded the job of the 9-speed transmission. The power is well matched to the vehicle, he said. It's clearly not trying to be a sports car like the Germans, but it's quick enough. This new 9-speed transmission works quite well and avoids the old GM habit of always staying in the highest gear where there's no power. It's very nice to drive. Right double quotation mark.